How do fellas? Uh, nice back here again uh, with another quick inbox review. So today we're going to be looking at Airfix's Orca Hurricane Mark 1 Tropical. Now I've wanted to do a hurricane for ages uh, so this was right on my street because it got fit right in uh, really well with my um, Mark 5 Spitfire. I've got a uh, in tropical colours as well. So what I'll do, we'll swap over to overhead and we'll get cracking. So we'll start off with the box art. And as you can see, it's a lovely scene uh, depicted on this, uh, the uh, the hurricane shooting down a Italian, I believe, Italian uh, biplane of some sort. Okay, some really nice uh, colours on there and what have you. There's two markings in this one, a all over silver aluminium colour and obviously the tropical colour. Then on the side, you've got some uh, computer renderings of it on that side. And then on this side, you've got a little bit of blurb on it and then the two markings themselves. So as with most Airfix kits, it came all in one bag. So I took it all out because I didn't want them all to get damaged and we'll just go from, sorry, from the instructions. So the instructions are the new Airfix type. So the a lovely uh, A4 sheet. Again, we have a little bit of blurb at the top and the actual uh, kit number, the size of it and the decals and some specifications on the side there. So on the first page, normal bit study drawings, etc. What to do and where, and then we move on to the cockpit. Now, the Spitfire cop, the Spitfire cockpit, the Hurricane cockpit was all tubular, as you can see in these pictures here. So we've got the seats, uh, which it's got 56 now, which is aluminium, I believe, which might not be correct. I'll have to check on that. Reason being, if that's aluminium. Well, it's not painted out in the the sun out in in egypt where this aircraft was that would get absolutely boiling in the sun so i'm gonna have to have a look at that see where it is okay so we've got the seat the armor plating going onto the wing spars with the tubular part of the uh, the cockpit and there you can see a nice drawing with the 90 degrees for the two spars on to the uh, where your feet go uh, for the uh, the control surfaces, the control pedals. Moving on, putting, putting that into the actual spars and a bit more on. And you notice you've got this red bit, so that's the previous part to show you what it is, where you've put it in, and then going on to putting the, the control yoke. Some more of the cockpit again, the uh, foot pedals, the other uh, spar, the other tubular parts, putting the seat in, some uh, oxygen canisters and bits and pieces, uh, and then you've got your pilot figure. You recognise him? You've got the pilot figure, and then you've got the uh, the main wing section. And you notice you need to cut a bit out. Now, for the normal version, you won't cut this out. This is just for the tropical version. Okay, so we'll come back to that in a bit. Then, the two drill outs for the uh, the aircraft stand, if you so wish. Which, again, you need to get it separately. Moving on to some uh, parts for the uh, undercarriage bays. The wing section then slotting on to, into the into there and then putting the uh, navigation lights in on the side and then this is a nice option if you want to install the guns you cut these parts out and file and what have you and then you can install the guns so in each wing you'll get four 303 brownings okay that slot in with the uh, ammo chutes uh, and all the the gun bay parts and all that sort of stuff all right 
and then you've got the two, reverse, so you've got the two two uh, left and right wings, or port and starboard, whichever you want to call it. And then it's mating the two wing halves together, be it the ones without the guns, or the ones with the gun, okay? And then on to joining the fuselage together. So you've got the internal colours, there's a, a decals, a decal for the actual uh, instrument panel, uh, a bulkhead that goes in the front, the two halves join together and then that slots into the, the wing section. And then you've got the part for the tropical filter and then this separate part here, this separate fillet, that's for either the Sea Hurricane that's got the hook on the back, which I'll show you in the uh, in the actual kit itself. And then you've got the, the actual control surface that you can, can have at up or down 22 or 21 degrees on both sides. And then we've got the horizontal stabilizers and the tail going together. The underbelly radiator and get going installed with the cooling flap at uh, the front of the radiator uh, personally i might potentially join that first so you can sort out that uh, seam line the same again with this part uh, sorting out the the seam line for the actual tropical filter wings up or down Okay, there's, I think the only real, is only really Airfix that does uh, do it this way. Uh, I don't know too many that actually do say that you can have it both ways. Okay, uh, and design the kit so it will go both ways. And then you've got the really, really sturdy legs on the uh, Hurricane's uh, stance. And as you can see there, there's no mistake that that's a Hurricane with the stance and the thick wings. Obviously, on all four there. We've then got uh, the wheels, and these wheels have got weight on wheels, which is really, really good, and separate hub caps. So that makes it a little bit easier painting. And then you've got your, like, your pitot tubes, your uh, exhaust nozzles, your propellers, and all that sort of going on, your uh, gun sight. And then you've got the two canopies, one for either open or closed. And then putting all the last little bits on there. So just uh, as you can see, I don't actually know what that bit is. That's interesting. Don't know what that bit is, but we'll sure we'll look at it. And then the separate panels that you've got for the uh, guns open. And then we move on to the colour call out. So this one's flown by Sergeant Pilot FH Dean, uh, number 274 Squadron, Royal Air Force, Cindy Barini, Egypt 1941. And this is a, a quite a, a good bit over here. It's no colours of markings are based on best interpretation of the period. Black and white photographs. Alternate markings are supplied. And outlines may be used or omitted to individual taste. Camouflage colours on nose are based on complementary reports. Background colour is unknown and could have been pale blue, sand or aluminium paint or aluminium paint that's depicted here. So what they're talking about, these bits on the side here, these uh, lightning flashes, okay, uh, it could be that one or it could be that one or it could be just the yellow with no outline, or just the blue with no outline. And then we've got these bits here, all along uh, the front of the wings, and uh, under the, the nose, uh, saying that that bit could be aluminium, it could be anything. And then you've got the this squiggly line sort of effect all over. So that's a really, really interesting scheme. That's probably the one I'm going to go for, if I'm honest. And then, then the other one, we have got Rohesian Air Training Group, Rohesia, can't even pronounce it, uh, now Zimbabwe, 1941. And that one is all over aluminium. All right, a nice simple one if you want to have a practice with your uh, metal colours. Okay, so that's the instructions. 
Move on to the decals. Now these are Cartercraft decals. So you've got your common ones. So all your little your instrument panels and all your other bits and pieces. Your type B markings. And then you've got the different parts for the different uh, lightning parts. So the two blues and the two yellows. The main uh, roundels for 274 squadron and the RTG, RTAG, sorry, squadron. Okay, so we shouldn't really have any problem with them. Normal Cartograph fare, really, really good. I'm not taking it out, uh, but we have got the, the clear part. So you've got the two hoods, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the windshield, there we are, the windshield uh, part as well. So that looks all, all in fine fettle. So we'll move on to the plastic and we'll start off with the upper wings. So we've got four grey plastics blues and then we've got the upper wings. Normal airfix plastic, not the hardest, but not the softest. Okay, it should cut sand really really nicely one of the downsides with this is as you can see you've got the guns that are pouring in there then you've just got the hollows like that all right so not a great touch i think i'll probably be i won't be installing the guns but i'll probably be trying to look at maybe tarting that up if i can and obviously i'll show you when i do it but again it's got nice um Seam, uh, seam lines, uh, panel lines, uh, the the rivets for the guns as well are really, really nice and some nice rivet detail, some raised detail here and there on these wings. And then we can see where the spars all go and the wheel bays, we might have to get rid of those two offending injection pin marks. We've got the horizontal stabiliser control surfaces Again, some nice fabric detail on there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. And then we've got the armor plating and something to do. I think that's with the to do with the the belly. Uh, the something to do with the uh, the bottom of the the floor of the the cockpit potentially. That's excuse me. It's uh, it's quite late tonight, so I'm a bit tired. The underwing, nice one span, okay. Uh, again, some nice detail. Uh, again, main problems with these is the the shoots, but they shouldn't be a problem to be fair because they're quite deep and fill up with some some nice uh, wash. Again, some decent detail on the fabric control surfaces, and some really nice detail where the on the wing spar for the wheel bay and all that. Another part of the control surfaces. The undercarriage doors for the two types. So you've got the one in flight and the one with them down. And like I said, the, the weight on wheels, which is a really nice touch by Airfix. And as you can see, our, it's oblongs are not round. So no matter what way you put that in, you should be able to get them the right way up touch wood moving on to the fuselage parts now okay this is an, uh, an interest interesting part of the kit because you can actually see they've got some really really nice detail some really nice detail of the ribbon okay of the uh, aircraft i might have to have a look at this area here because it just goes straight from the ribbon straight to nothing there's no you know, to whether that's metal or whatever. Uh, same up here, look, so I'm assuming that's all fabric. But then again, there's some a few ribbits, so is it or isn't it? So I'm going to have to look into this and uh, potentially sort that out. So, yeah, some nice detail. The two fillets for the uh, the belly or the tail, underneath the tail. One for the Sea Hurricane, where the arrest of hook is. And one for the uh, normal 
hurricane as you can see the lit the nice uh, protrusion where the uh, tailwheel goes again the control surfaces some nice detail on there so you'll be able to pick this out really really well to give that fabric effect the two props and then your the tube or tubular parts for the cockpit and then we move on to the final pot the final uh, sprue and this is all the other little pieces so we've got undercarriage we've got uh, nose cones uh, those wheels will be for the in-flight ones the tail wheel the hub caps uh, some pieces for the radiator which actually that's got some really really nice texture on there uh, i'm assuming those parts there are either for the gun bays or the wheel wells so same as those parts there your control yoke okay so the spade type of control yoke with the uh, gun selector and firing button to the uh the control uh, control pedals so there's some really really nice touches on here and then we've got the, the pilot figure if you so wish to install the pilot figure so some really really nice detail on it in here and then we've got the actual weapons themselves the the eight three or three brownings the uh actual Exhaust stacks will need a uh, hollowing out or something along those sort of lines, which I probably will do. Uh, so yeah, and then we've got the the raised detail for the instrument panel. So that's it. So fellas, that's Airfix's Tropical Hurricane. It's uh, a really really nice nice kit, and it's a really really simple kit because that's basically what it is. Now this kit retails about 18 to 21 pound. Okay, so what do you get? It's, it's not a lot for that actual amount of money. Bear in mind when I say this, the latest release from Edward of the 109 uh, and the 190, they're about 23 pound, 24 pound. So for a couple of three pound, just bear that in mind that's for profit pack ones that's for profit pack one. this one straight out of the box yeah he's got some good schemes on there but the the gun uh apertures let's say they're going to need drilling out and sort out you can't just leave them as a solid piece like that uh the the shoots where the uh actual cartridges would come out you'd have to deal with those uh, the exhaust they would need drilling out again all these are not problems it's just you've got to bear that in mind when you, when you think about the price of the kit no rivet detail anywhere well no there's a very little uh, rivet detail anywhere it, so that's all on the the downside on the plus side You've got some nice detail on all the fabric parts of the aircraft. So on the tail, all that ribbon, uh, all the control surfaces, uh, all that ribbon on, on there. Good decals. You know, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, a lovely subject. There's not many hurricanes in 48, and there are not many tropical hurricanes in 48. You've got the Italiari one, which is a dog of a kit. And that's a Tammy, the Tammy Reviews that kit as well it's not the best kit in the world uh Hasegawa, i think i've got a 48 version out there so there's not that many out there so for 20 pound you get what you get in a way <clears throat> but it should be a fun simple build to to do because i'm going to be starting this uh, in a bit because i've got a couple of complicated builds going going on so i want something that's quick and fun to do I don't fret, I'll be filming all, all this as well. Uh, I'll be adding some sarnaces and, and stuff like in, in my normal fashion. So that's the Airfix Hurricane, fellas. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.